In this video, I'm going to check out how well you can work within Windows Mixed Reality. Hello and welcome to Mixed Reality TV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and you would like to stay up to date about anything Windows MR and the VR and AR industry in general, subscribe now and click the bell button so you don't miss anything. In this video, I'm going to check out how well you can work from within Windows Mixed Reality headsets. Now, Microsoft has not positioned these devices as pure gaming headsets, like for example, the Oculus Rift or HTC Vive. No, they want to suggest that you can also get serious work done from within these headsets. Now, from the Cliff House, you can start any kind of Windows desktop application and actually you can also work on your normal Windows desktop, which is pretty cool. And now I'm really going to check out how well does it work. So let's get into the cliff house. And here we are at my beautiful house at the ocean. Now, I really prefer to go out and actually I like to be on the roof. I really love this kind of atmosphere here on the roof. And here you can see my workstation and over there is my play area. Here I watched some Netflix and here is the desktop. That's what I want to show you right now. So this is indeed my normal Windows desktop. Now there's not so many stuff on it because actually this is my gaming machine that I'm filming this on. So yeah, not so many things on there. So I just put my controllers away because I'm using my mouse now. I can use my mouse simply as if I would use it if I was sitting in front of my computer, which I actually am, just I have the headset on now. So let me show you something, how it would look like if I would be working on this computer. So I have just opened Microsoft Edge, the browser, and here I'm in, I am in Google Keep. And yeah, I'm writing something now on my normal keyboard. And that works pretty fine. If you would ask me now, can you read everything very well? And yeah, I can. Everything looks clear. There's no problem whatsoever in reading, especially since you can uh, make these windows as huge as you want. Like this is a huge floating window now in front of me. It's like taller than I am. So this is pretty cool. Now getting back here at my controllers and I would like to show you just how easy it is to resize those windows or to bring them closer, put them further away. You have complete freedom in where you put those windows and that is great. Now I was thinking, would I really work on this huge floating desktop in front of me? And the answer is probably I would not do so. However, I was thinking for the visually impaired, this might be fantastic to have this huge screen floating in front of you. Uh, let me just go a bit closer. You see, you can see everything in a huge size. So for people who have problems with their eyes, who are visually impaired, this might be actually a great solution. And in this video, I simply want to answer the question, could you work in VR if you wanted to? Could you work in Windows Mixed Reality if you wanted to? And well, with this desktop, which is floating around, which you can resize and which is perfectly readable, I can tell you, yes, you can. Now, what I really like is that you can still use your mouse and your keyboard just as if you would be working on the normal desktop. And that really makes things much easier than using those controllers, even though now I'm using those controllers. But um, yeah, let me, let me simply go back to mouse. That is really better. So now here I'm in Steam and well, I can look around in the store what they have, everything is cool. So this is really this spatial operating system where you can place your windows anywhere you want within this cliff house. And I personally like it a lot. So I have this play area that you saw before and this work area that I'm going to show you very, very soon. And well, you can simply design it to your own liking. All right, so that's it for the desktop. I think what is more interesting actually is to run applications directly within Windows MR. And I'm going to show you that next at my workstation. So let's go there. I believe this is much more interesting. So I have several apps open there and I've placed them in a manner that I can simply look around and have them floating right and left and in front, simply having huge screens around me. So let me show you what I have. Now, 
This is Easy Mail for Gmail. It's an email program. It's a Gmail program. Okay, let me put those controllers away. It's a Gmail program, which I found in the Windows Store. So before, I never ever looked into the Windows Store, and probably you're the same. But now, with Windows MR, it makes sense to have a look what kind of apps they have. Because, yeah, you can launch them in the Clubhouse and put them anywhere. So this is pretty cool. So now I'm looking at an email here. Somebody wrote a comment. And uh, yeah, I can also compose an email. Of course, you could use that keyboard that pops up there and you could use your controller in order to type, but that is very complicated. So it's much better if you simply use your keyboard or some wireless keyboard that you have on your lap, for example, in order to type and that works pretty well. The only thing, of course, is now I cannot see my keyboard. Well, I can type blindly, but still it's a bit strange to not be able to see your keyboard at all. So it would be great if there was some representation of your keyboard, something that Logitech is now doing with the Vive. That would be incredible if you would be able to see that physical keyboard in space. Anyway, so this is easy mail for Gmail. And now let's have a look at what else I have here, here on top. It's called crypto chart. I can see the charts of the cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so on. So this is pretty handy. I think this is actually perfect for stockbrokers. They can put all the windows with all the different assets there and yeah, simply follow it. Here on top, I have a browser and here now, this is my notes. It's also a Windows application that I found in the Windows App Store. It's pretty interesting to check out the App Store. I really never checked it out before. Why would you? But well, now you have some kind of reason. So this is simply a notes program and I want to check out how does it feel to type a note, to write something up. And yeah, well, that's what I'm doing right now, right? I'm just trying to type something here. It could be a Skyrim review which by the way is an incredible game if you have a psvr go and get skyrim it's great so typing something up here works very well i like it again i can clearly see all the text and uh, well of course i would still prefer my 4k monitor but this experience is not bad at all i would say it's like looking at um an hd monitor a bit too close <laughs> actually but it is perfectly readable and you could work in VR if you really wanted to. And wow, once this has a higher resolution, let's say 4K or even better native 8K, this would be a viable option. On the bottom right, I have this to-do application from Microsoft and on the top right, I have my Twitter feed. So it's pretty cool. So let me tell you what kind of headset I'm using right now. I'm using the Lenovo Explorer. Windows Mixed Reality headset and tomorrow or the day after tomorrow finally my Samsung Odyssey is going to arrive which has an even higher resolution and I'm going to go back here and have a look if I can even read all the text better with that Samsung Odyssey which has a higher resolution than the Lenovo Explorer. Well, simply stay tuned to Mixed Reality TV and I'm going to let you know. So in a nutshell, I think it's pretty cool what you can do now already with these Windows MR headsets. What I especially like is that you can set up your working space to have those screens in your peripheral vision and put whatever you want onto these screens. So once you need some information, you simply glance to the correct screen and you see all the information that you want. In terms of resolution, this is definitely better than Rift and Vive. So text is good to read, it's very clear. However, it's still not such a perfect resolution that it would make me want to work in VR. I would still prefer my real life screen, my real life 4K screen. It's still much more relaxing. However, I can see people work in VR who need lots of information around like stock brokers or whatever or I don't know, any kind of people who, who need lots of screens around them and who cannot do that or who do not want that in real life, I can see them use this in order to, to build their own working space. So yeah, it's pretty cool and it shows lots of potential and it's pretty awesome what you can do now already. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and this was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed to Mixed Reality TV yet, 
do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. See you there.